Good afternoon, everyone. U.S. Farm Planting Report struggling to survive. This is how they're phrasing it for Kansas and Oklahoma, among other areas. First sentence there, 2018 is pushing wheat's limit, meaning it is so stressed from the drought and the cold. And now they're just starting to see injury symptoms such as leaf tip burning and stalks breaking due to actual complete freeze and then thawing. They even talk about how it's still too early for most farmers to depict or show the extent of the damage in the recent freezes in Oklahoma. They've had the driest winter on record for most of Kansas, and it's going to affect really the ability for these crops to rebound, especially that freezing cold damage. Then we have Oklahoma State University grain marketing specialist talking about 10 bushels per acre on the yields, and they're also talking about how desperate the conditions are in the ground. Let's give you some numbers to look at. Now, currently, there's only 3% of spring wheat planted compared to 2013 to 2017 average. That is eight times less than normal. Only 3% is planted. They should be around 25% by now. Let's break down the chart. Left side, April 22nd, 2017, comparatively for the different states. Idaho, at this time, had 45% in the ground. Right now, they have 40% in the ground. Minnesota, 13% last year. This year, oops, zero. Montana, oops, zero. North Dakota, oops, zero. Comparatively to these other percentages, there should be. There are massive planting delays going on, whether the media tells you or not. This is straight from the Ag Web and the U.S. Farm Report. Kansas wheat crop, 13% is in good to excellent condition, 44% is poor or very poor, and that missing percentage that equals 100% is still in the fields. They don't know what's going on just yet. Let me show you some of the damage here. When these stalks froze solid, then they unthawed. This is what happens. Not only that, but then the leaf tips were burned. If it didn't break the stalk itself, there was leaf tip burning going on. The, Yield is going to be so low this year. Looking at Kansas, 97% dry conditions. Severe or worse, 60%. Also, Oklahoma, 58% drought, 18% exceptional drought. Now, when you're looking over at AgWeb, I've linked everything below so you can go ahead and chase down these stories. But this first entry here, historically cold, April might mean lower yields. Obviously, it's going to. Very last entry here, you'll take a look at Corn Belt could freeze as late as June. So we have some similar references of what went on during the last mini ice age called the Maunder Minimum. Also the medieval warm period, so you can see the difference in how far the crops can either grow north or they're going to be pushed south depending on just the climate conditions. Now the limit of the Corn Belt and a little ice age, that's if we're in a 400 year cycle. What if we're going into a heavier, more powerful cycle? Something on the multi-millennia. That's going to be pushed really far south into Indiana. And also I'm making a prediction here, knowing that there is so much going on up in Canada that's even worse than in the United States. I am going to call it now. They're going to shift crops. They're going to go away from any types of oil seeds that can't be planted. Look for a reduction in soy and a reduction in like the canola or the rapeseed. And they're going to flip it into something drier climate. I bet they're going to go way heavy on the wheat. Look for it. Let's talk about corn planting. Now the USDA, they're very conservative when they put out these reports. But for them to come out and say that the snails pace for planting this year. Uh. And then we look at the numbers. Corn planted, same thing, left side, April 22nd, 2017, all of these states and the percentages. And then we come over to April 22nd, 2018. That's about three times lower than the average. If they only have 5% of the corn acreage planted so far, and they should be at 14% by now. And please remember, when the corn gets delayed in the planting, the later it gets, when it gets to this hot time in July... These diseases are easier to take hold in the earlier growth stages when it's hotter. So they're looking for more possible leaf blight, gray leaf spot, etc. to come through the crops. But this video is made possible by TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. And I thank you so much for watching, spending your time with me. Just went over 50,000 subscribers. I'll do that in the next video, but I'm so grateful, so thankful. Thank you so much for our community growing like this.